Hi, hello dear students. Uh, welcome to Arkim channel here. Chemistry made easy. In today's video, you will see the best possible way to learn biomolecules and polymers chapter. I'll be sharing you the very important detailed analysis that is year wise weightage analysis from these chapter chapters. So it is going to be smart work. So subscribe this channel and share it on social media and like this video. So let me introduce myself first. Myself Raju, I passed out from IIT Bombay. I have seven plus years experience. I mentored one lakh plus students. So let us begin the session with this detailed analysis. So this is a weightage analysis from past five years. You can see 2019, 18, 16, 15, 14 marks from these chapters. So 2019, eight marks and 2016, nine marks. So remaining years, minimum four marks you are getting. And you can score easily from this chapter. I'll be showing you the way to score easy. Look at the distribution here. 2019, 16 maximum marks. So remaining four marks minimum. So that means four marks in your pocket if you see this video. Right. So what topics I need to cover from these chapters? So look at this. First of all, very sure about structures and glycosidic linkages of these monosaccharides and or disaccharides or polysaccharides. Okay, and structures of 20 amino acids. Everybody must know these structures. And writing polymers, how do we write polymers from monomers? And the table is given in NCRT. So overall you can just read NCRT for advanced level also and you don't need any other book okay so I'll be showing you the proof also with questions year wise questions just look at these questions to the 19 J advanced so what question was asked which of the following statement is true okay so first statement you see uh, oxidation of glucose with bromine water gives glutamic glutamic as it has no relation right so it must be gluconic gluconic acid right so next one two six membered rings of cyclic hemiacetals forms of glucose fine what are those two alpha glucose and beta what are these they are anomers because they differ at c1 carbon yes this is right and monosaccharides cannot be hydrolyzed. Direct statement from NCRT. Hydrolysis of sucrose. Again, this is direct statement from NCRT. So what is the answer? So B, C, D, they are direct statements from NCRT. No doubt about it. And look at this. Again, 2019 question only. So what are the correct options? So more than correct options. More than one correct options here. Cellulose has only D glucose unit. That means you should know the cellulose structure. And Teflon is prepared by heating tetrafluoroethane in presence of per sulfate catalyst. So, direct NCRT statement Teflon. Teflon is a polymer of tetrafluoroethane. Natural rubber is polyisoprene isoprene containing transalkene units. What is isoprene? See, look at this isoprene. This is isoprene, right? So if it is trans, is it natural rubber? No. It is clearly mentioned in NCRT. It must be cis. So nylon 6 has amide linkage. What is nylon 6? Nylon 6 also direct structure from NCRT. So look at this. So what is the answer? Final answer is B and D. B and D are the correct answers. Teflon, it is fine. And nylon 6 has amide linkages. See, look at the structure of nylon 6. So, this is nylon 6. It has amide linkage. Clear? So, only two are there. Correct ones. Right? So, next question from 2018. Okay. So, J advanced. So, very simple question. D glucose structure is given. They have given D glucose structure. So, what is beta L glucopyranose? Pyranose is six membered ring. Fine. So, what is beta glucopyranose? So, just look at these options. You know? So, you can easily eliminate options. 
सो बीटा मीन्स ओ एच लुक इट द ओ एच पोजिशन है ना लुक इट द ओ एच पोजिशन इज द मेन पोजिशन यू हैव टू लुक एट इट सो ओ एच शुड बी डाउन ओके देन इट इज बीटा इफ ओ एच इज अप देन इट इज आल्फा सो वट करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी so simple correct statement from beta gluco pyranose so you should thorough with all the structures right next polymers 2016 question incomplete hydrogenation natural rubber just now we have seen what is natural rubber it is polymer of cis poly isoprene okay so it is natural rubber this polymer so how i am writing this polymer just look at this n times so this is addition polymer so this will link up with other monomer units like this so in the middle double bond comes this and see here and this is linked to other monomer this is linked to other monomer n times this is polymer so what are they saying it is a very good question on complete hydrogenation natural rubber complete hydrogenation means you are adding hydrogen so double bond is saturated right so look at this so on complete hydrogenation so we get this structure yes so n times the same structure can be produced from which of the following so definitely it is not correct vulcanized you can directly eliminate vulcanization means what it is heating with sulfur heating with sulfur so this is not the answer polypropylene polybutylene ethylene propylene you need to check so i will check with first option first okay so just look at this propene so i have taken propene and ethylene ethylene so what polymer i get so look at this how i am writing polymer so i just need to add right so double bonds must be linked yes look at this so this carbon will link up with this and this carbon will link up with other carbon okay so overall what i'll get is so the polymer is this so double bond and yes upon complete hydrogenation it produces something like this right n times is it clear so this double bond is connected to other monomer and this double bond is connected to other monomer we are adding these two monomer units so this is producing what ethylene propylene copolymer so if you are able to write a polymer structure from monomers you just practice the polymers given in ncert table okay in ncert polymers chapter there's table given just practice those polymers and monomers that's it okay right conclusion is option a is correct next so again this question from carbohydrates that is invert sugar what is invert sugar means it is sucrose right so here specific rotations are given sucrose maltose glucose fructose so what are the correct statements invert sugar prepared by acid acid catalyzed hydrolysis of maltose not possible invert sugar is equimolar mixture of d plus fructose hai na so d minus is not correct na no? l minus fructose specific rotation of invert sugar is minus 20 so we have to calculate specific rotation so how are we calculating so it is definitely equimolar mixture d glucose and l fructose so d glucose dextro right it is a dextro it is plus 50 and this is l fructose so d minus fructose it should be like this no d minus fructose we should read like this d means here it is a relative configuration it is not saying it is uh, dextro or levo capital d you know the last carbon configuration relative configuration so d minus d plus glucose 
so invert sugar is equimolar mixture that is fine plus 52 minus 92 so minus 92 plus 52 overall 2 moles so per mole you are calculating per mole how much it is minus 40 by 2 so minus 20 so b and c are correct on reaction with bromine water invert sugar forms saccharic acid is it correct no right so the correct answer is b and c sucrose cannot be oxidized to saccharic acid with simple bromine water the next question because 2016 total 9 marks were given right so this question so there is one paragraph is given basically and they asked in the options amino acids are given so that means amino acid structures you must know okay na see glycine alanine valine serine total 20 amino acids in those 20 amino acids how many are naturally essential how many are non essential you must know all 20 structures with detailed names so what is given here question look at the question now first o is a compound fine with kmno4 so what it it is giving a p p compound so kmno4 oxidizes side chain only so this will not change this will give covoh this gives covoh that is fine on heating with ammonia on heating with ammonia this is p compound it gives q so carboxylic acid with ammonia what it gives it gives amide so i'm writing amide here covnh2 covnh2 fine yes amide we have now q on treatment with naoh br2 so br2 naoh this is a named reaction is it correct half men bromamide so what i'll get so i'll get this compound right so one carbon will be reduced nh2 nh2 clear now this is r on strong heating q gave s on strong heating directly okay so if you directly heat it so what it will get what happens if you strongly heat it it will lose a simple molecule ammonia so we will get nh and see cyclic amide we got now this on treatment with it's a lengthy question but the con sequence reactions are not tough they are simple ammonia heating half men bromide named reaction right so nh now ethyl 2 bromo propanoate ethyl 2 bromo propanoate it must be ester okay so co wo ethyl ester it is clearly saying and 2 bromo this first carbon 1 2 okay 3 so 2 bromo okay propanoate so when this undergoes reaction with the compound s in presence of koh okay so this is like gabriel thalamide synthesis so what will happen here in presence of koh minus okay this will remove h plus and this attacks and bromine will leave okay so we get a molecule after substitution what i am getting here co okay n and this is ch3 co o e t and this upon acidic hydrolysis so what i'll get here h h o h o h so and this ester also can undergo hydrolysis so overall i am getting here this is h c o o h so i'll get amino acid what type of amino acid here ch3 nh2 co oh so what is this amino acid name alanine glycine is just ch2 but ch3 ch if ch3 is attached that is alanine okay so it's a lengthy question right next question is 
from 2015 very simple question look at this they have given structure of d glucose what is l minus glucose d plus glucose is given it is d plus glucose clearly you have to see what symbol is given here l minus so what is d plus and l minus relation here so what is the relation they are diastomers or enantiomers they must be mirror images don't see only d and l if you see only d and l you will get confused you know but here it is a tricky question because d plus l minus they are asking they must be enantiomers okay so where is the enantiomer of this d glucose look at the options find out where is it option a clear right so next question total number of distinct naturally occurring amino acids from this peptide there is a very big peptide is given and if it is undergoing complete hydrolysis so what are naturally occurring amino acids naturally occurring means from those 20 amino acids if you know the structure you will clearly see there is no cyclopropyl group in any of those 20 okay and uh, where is it there is no tertiary butyl group if you know the structures you will understand clearly so you can see all these structures in peptide what you have to do okay so here i'm writing a peptide bond okay so just break this wherever co group just add oh and wherever nh group you add h okay you have to break like this co oh nh2 so if you break like that any naturally amino acid you are getting just look at the overall peptide structure don't be afraid of big structures the question is very simple whatever you know those 20 structures no from that can you identify any any of those yes we can identify just look at this here i am adding h oh here i am adding co side oh n side h so look at this structure now i can see this clearly right so what is this what is the name of this structure now ch2 nh2 coh so what is this it is glycine it is naturally occurring amino acid okay so this way we have to target this chapter and you can score easily definitely okay so all the best for your 2020 attempt so this is what today's session so i'll be coming up with more and more sessions like this but you keep on supporting me through your likes and subscribe this channel hit the red bell icon and don't forget to share this on social media so thank you very much so i'm signing off today see you take care so i'll meet you in the next video